It's the all new Power Mornings with Letty yes, and Teddy is. on Power 106. Woo-hoo. I got Javen in here with us. And you know, we had to bring in the new homie. I haven't met you yet, so I'm so glad to finally have you in with us. Quincy, no yep. last name, no last name needed. Nah. But the project is out now, sure. Q side, B side, and we're rocking with it. Thank you so much for coming in and joining us, Q. Thank you for having me. It's yeah. been a minute since I you know, came on the property, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> F- feels good to be back. I know there what goes go. down here. Yes. It's always good, t- good times, fun energy. And yeah. you came with gifts. Man. Because we got some Trejos donuts. Ooh. Purple, I see. all in line with the album artwork. Yeah. Of course, an homage. And, and I love that you did that. Can you explain the artwork to people that don't know? Yeah, for sure. Well, the two doors uh, represent, well, almost like two sides, mm. which is who I am as a Gemini. I mean, a lot of people. Damn. Done. Yeah, right. I know. Yeah. As soon as you say that, everything. Yeah. Dum, dum, dum. Dum. Closed. <laughs> Let's close um, up shop, guys. Everybody. <laughs> Box it up. But who I am as a person, yeah. you know, is somebody split, you know, into multiple yeah. personalities. Mm-hmm. And I think that's actually who we all are. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's not 10 doors. I'm going to just put two put there two because, there. because, you know what I mean? That will give you enough, mm-hmm. you know, to uh, realize, okay, it's like the Matrix, the like blue plug. Uh, blue pill, red, red pill, pill. Right, right, you know, right. one of those, but they lead to the same destination. Yeah. It's just a different journey. Mm. And really, that's who I am. The purple represents a lot for me. My mom, res- and that's one of her favorite colors. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So it resonated super heavy. Um, but more than anything, I wanted to kind of like introduce who I was, you know what I mean, before anything. And if you don't get it immediately, it's stuff that you get later yeah. on. Mm. Yeah. And I like that satisfaction. You know, sometimes more than an instant satisfaction. I like for you to come back like, wait, you said this, this, this. Wait, you did that? And yep. I'm like, mm-hmm. Paying attention. Because yeah, right. I'm very, 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 you know, detail-oriented. So I like to really yeah. go there. And I also love the way he explained that. Because I could have said that when it sounded as good. Yeah. No, but, you know, when, when Quincy talks the way he talks. Because, no, talk you know, that that that's, I mean... <laughs> Listen, that that's what we've known you. That's when we first got introduced to you. Yeah. It's like, I've seen this kid so many times. Like, first of all, what the hell does he do? Like, right? Like, have you seen him? Like, I've seen him. I've seen him. Like, I've seen him act. But I yeah. see he does music. And it's like, dang, right? But you're also a ladies' man. Don't forget the like, fashion. Like, that's the one. Oh, the fashion as well, right? <laughs> and I think that, um, I think at, at the core, it's just you. Right, it's just you. This is who you are, and I'm, I'm sure this project allows you to show that, like the real you. Yeah. Stop, stop, uh, you know, guessing what I do and who I am. I'm telling you now. Does that what this project feels like? Exactly that, you know, because like you said, I love how you said, ladies, man, like that has a whole career path, right? Right, <laughs> right. 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 It's a vocation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you know, with this project, I was free, um, huh. and when I say that, I was just able to do what I want. Yeah, not. A single move was made because, like, somebody was like, "Yo, you gotta do this." I'm like, "Okay, should I?" All right. I'm a, it, it was none of that. It was everything that made me just tick. You yeah. Know what I mean? If yeah. it moved me, I was in it, and I felt like that's what I was missing with a lot of my. I want to say my other music, but like just the entirety. I mean, right. the, you know, it in a full package. Yeah. It was just there. This project is an experience. This project is. I'm gonna be pushing this project after I drop another albums and never yeah. as if it just came out just okay. because it's the introduction. It means that much. Yeah, it's yeah. the introduction. It's who I am, and I really want people to understand that musically, you know, me as well because, yes, I act. Yes, I mm. do mad other shit. Yes, yeah. as we all should. Come on. Yeah. Why don't we? Why don't we just yeah. do mad shit? Yeah. Two Everybody, doors, bro. They represent <laughs> doing more than one shit. You know, so I want people to really understand that. And I feel like once it starts to click, everything will all come together. Yeah. Because you'll be able to see me as an actor in my music. Hear me as an actor in my music. Mm. Yeah. You'll be able to like almost like hear the fashion Ooh. in okay. yeah. my music. You know, what I mean? so you'll be able to really connect it all. Yeah. And it'll make you know, just to make it make sense. A hundred percent. You talk about control and you know, this album being a hundred percent you and letting people know who you are and who Quincy is. It, tell me a little more about that journey and you know establishing that control because you come from iconic uh, lineage and legacy. Yeah. How do you you know not separate yourself from that? Still take on that advice because you know what I learned enough. I think it's my turn to step out. Tell me a little more about that process. It's tough, especially in my situation, Man. because it's almost like you got 
vultures just ready to <laughs> ready. just you know come at you for doing anything little you know, anything wrong um right. but you gotta look at that as like there's nothing wrong you know what i mean you really just have to be yeah um i feel like sometimes when you operate trying to not looking over up? your shoulder and not mess up right. yeah it, it, it don't make sense and right. it's not authentic you know i feel like that's a part of growing and I was able to do that from an early age because I was always like the spectator. I was always the fly on the wall. Even mm-hmm. if you, you kind of peep my movements now, I'm low key. I'm I'm very, but I'm observant. Yeah. Right? I may be low key, not in the way, but I'm taking in more info than the man who's sitting, you know, in the first row. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like I'm able to really, really, really take everything all in, and then, you know, produce. Mm. I'm not. I mean, we all got. What, what's it called when you just act off instinct and impulsive? Right, yeah. impulsive. impulsive. Like yeah. I have that attitude about a lot of things, but not when it comes to what I really want the world to, you know, what I mean, mm-hmm. gravitate to. You like to take yeah. your time with you know things. Mean? I think we all have, you know, Bad. impulsive, you know, yeah. mannerisms. Human. However, it's human nature. Exactly. But once I started to see that people understood me, mm. then I was able to kind of like channel into, okay, I feel safe. You know what I mean? I feel confident, you know what I mean, in myself now. Just because, of course, ways are, let me rephrase that. Like, people pave the way. Yeah. Mm. But then, that ain't the only way. Uh, talk to them. So, how can you pave another way, similar, right. next to it? Adjacent. Something. Yeah, like. <laughs> anything. hmm And then it still be. You. Okay, right. it's you. It's, mm-hmm. And I feel like that's been my challenge, but that's been what I've been trying to go for. That's yeah. the, that was the goal. And, yeah. and it just feels good to be able to really operate just as you and not feel like you got to be, even walking in here, like, yeah. it's not like I, all right, here we go. Put on it's like, no, I can really yeah. just be, be yourself. Be myself. Yeah. Yeah, if it's I important. fuck up, I, fuck, I mean, if I mess up, I mess up. If yeah. I... If you stump me on a question, you stump me on a question. Yeah. You, yeah. If I got to think about something, but I really want to just put me mm. in it before anything. Yeah. I, mean, I ain't going to just say some crazies, you know, nothing that's going to steer you off from who I am. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's always going to be authentic to you. Always. I'm not that crazy person, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, why did I say that? I, like, <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Well, what made me say that? Right. Like, no. <laughs> Quincy, you're a Gemini. You just celebrated your birthday, June 4th. Um, and it, it, it comes with this project. And I feel like, like you said, this is a project I'm going to hold on to for the rest of my career as, like, low-key the mission statement of who I am. Have you felt that? Like, some birthdays are, like, it's another birthday. And then some birthdays are, like, benchmark birthdays. Do you feel that way with this one that you just had? Definitely. You know, I just had my big 30. So that was a moment. But Let's then, go. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then this moment was, like, I felt the world celebrating with me in a different mm. way, yes. you know, because I, I dropped the project on May 20th, which was on purpose because the day right before Gemini season starts. Yeah. So it was like, that what's was up? The, I'm here. That, that was here. the opening of the doors to the Gemini. Yeah. <laughs> it was like whether it was in one door, out the other, in both, mm. however you looked at it, it was the start of something. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, that's where I'm really at with it. It, <laughs> it really feels like the start. And I know I may not be like somebody's uh, favorite yet in music. I may be somebody's favorite in acting, stuff mm. like that. But at the end of the day, I want everybody to still catch up how to catch up. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, 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 it's not, I ain't mad at nobody. Man, you know, um, shout out Brother Nip. I always go back to him with things like this because people knew him for his business acumen. And he's always like, you know, whether they know me for the music or they know me the, for the business, I want them to know me. And one will be the bridge to the other. And, you know, like that's similar to how you're saying, like, however you know me while you're here, check this other thing that I do and get into this. But music for you is so important because it it brings everything. You talk about how you're fa- you can hear fashion in your music, you can feel artistry in your music. That low key makes it more of a movie with this, with the, with the, audio wise mm-hmm. right it's kind of like a step up against the competition you seem all love but it's still competition and you a gemini so i know uh, you know it's like look absolutely i still want to stand out i still want to be the best at this yeah and then i don't want to you know talk shit about music but music is just like not what it is now mm-hmm. and i remember when i used to just be on my music discoveries just looking for new music i'd hit like eight out of ten mm. yeah now it's like i'm not 
finding nothing. Yeah. Until I reach the 50th song, I'm I'm, I'm clicking through. <laughs> 60th song, I'm clicking through. Yeah. Usually, I'm like, wow, it's it's not. Just this, resonating. This is not the mm-hmm. same, not resonating, but it's causing me to go through those 50, 60, 8, 70, 80 more songs, and now I'm discovering new artists, and sometimes it takes a little work yeah. to get to that new dope artist who ain't maybe getting 100 million streams yet, but he was the 80th discovery song that need to be the second discovery mm. song, but we ain't gonna talk about how that algorithm worked. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So do you, do you think, like, just, you kind of speak to it, like, the change of music, you, like, again, the legacy that you come from is royalty um, and have made some of our favorite hits from mm. decades. And now that this, you know, the climate of music is changing and, and things are differing, how do you, with the insight that you're able to get from, you know, the, that old lineage and, you know, the old guard, how do you, you know, take some of the tricks that they taught you, remix those a little bit, and now, you know, reposition those to a new stream age? I feel like, you, you know that saying, you got one job. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's that's where one I fit job, in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because obviously I was born R&B, grew up hip-hop. That's yeah. a hell of a little mix. A little mix. Mm-hmm. But it's a real one. Yeah. yeah. Like, do your research. Come on yeah. now. Like, it ain't no, this is... Errors, royalty, yeah. R and B, error, yeah. hip hop, error. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the thick of it, for right. real, for real. So yeah. that's ultimately who I am, how I grew up, what I kind of like embodied. You know, as I was a student yeah. around it all. You know, so I feel like I have an ear. Mm. Um, I feel like I have, you know, specifics about me that along the way. I was always like, damn, I know I got, you know, cool tone, but I can't sing like Chris Brown, so I can't sing. Mm. I can't run like Trey Songz run. Like, yeah. So it was all, it was always that, right. you know, like, where do I fit in with mm. that? You know, but really staying true to yourself and just practicing your craft, you find yourself within that because trial and error happens. Mm. You don't. You don't win every single time you go in the studio, but you gotta like at least take take something away from it to know like I I gotta you know go back in there and and do what I do. But it's fun to kind of like be inspired by a lot, and I feel like I'm inspired by mad shit, Mm. like way too much. I feel, but then somehow that bleeds out in everything I do, which is almost like a mix of you, 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 you. Then it's me. Then it's like oh that's him. You don't know where I got my inspiration yeah. from. You know what I mean? Even though you may ask me, I can tell you one or two things, but that ain't everything. Right. <laughs> I just wonder, like, I, I've been peeping you for a minute, right? And mm. just, like, hear you, like, you're very intentional now, and you're talking about the music in a different way than you've talked about it before. It Does that come from trial and error and just kind of fall in, like, eh, flat? Or where do you attribute the growth from as a person? Like, as a man, Quincy, like, you just sound different. You're talking different. Mm. What would you attribute that the most? Like, um, what help, what's helped you out? I slowed down. Yeah. You know, I think, you know, after my mom's passing, I, pretty, I just slowed down everything, yeah. you know, not, uh, not, 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 not to say like, I stopped doing this, stopped doing that. I just like slow things down. Had to hit pause for a second. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, you know, that's what really got me to be able to like really just be me, you mm-hmm. know, honestly. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't know if that sounds like were you being somebody else or like, are you filling a role? It, it just, I was thinking I was having to do more than I had to do. Mm. Overcompensate. You know what I mean? So then I stripped that away and then it became more of me. I was kind of like doing a lot and people was like, wait, what? Mm. Oh. And then I started like just doing a little less and people was like, they were like, oh. <laughs> That's crazy. So I was like, what? Huh? what? But it's still using my little ingredient of doing mad shit. I'm gonna still go back to that because you know, I hate that place, you know, yourself yeah. in a box or anybody. I mean, because I feel like we just gotta just practice doing shit more to then see what we're good at, and then slowly but surely just train that. You'll find which one and then you're like excelling. Yeah, um, you know, so that's you know the beauty of it, you know, and yeah. Well, what aren't you good at? <laughs> I don't, I, don't, I, I don't like no. that question. No, I, because I, you also play sports. Like you grew up like playing baseball. Yeah. Like, come on. I mean, I I, I try to find stuff every, yeah. day. Right. every day. If it interests me, I put my little mind to it just yeah. a little bit to see if any progress 
you just gotta know when something not for yeah. you. Mm. You have to know when something is not for you. Yeah. And if you don't know, you gotta have your best friend tell you yeah. it's like, not for okay. you. This ain't the move, bro. If you, if that, yeah. if the next, if the next friend can't tell you it's not for you, oh man, it, it's lost. Oh man, because the next friend is not gonna tell you that. Mm. You know what I mean for sure. Yeah. And it's not gonna happen with the fourth or the fifth friend or whoever else Thanks. is in the entourage and so on and so forth. Needs a day one for that. Yeah. So. <laughs> I've heard you say it twice already that it bothers you when people say like you do a lot of different shit. Yeah. Is that the criticism or what you see that really gets you like hyped up? Cause you said it twice already, bro. It bothers you when people say, Why do you do so much different things? It's different when they ask and then it's different when they like wonder. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm with you. So I feel like mm. it's a slight rain on my parade when you're like Why do you wondering? Do yeah. But it's not about what I do, it's how I do it. Right. Uh, so if you ask me, how do I do all these things versus like, why do you do all these? It's a, it's a, it's a whole energy. different yeah. type of energy, you know, and I feel like I'm working on those people mm. who say, why do you do all these things? I'm working on y'all mm. to then convert y'all to the how. How, mm. how do you do things? You know gotcha, I mean? gotcha. Because then I'm able to respond better. Yeah. You know I mean? In, you, a, in a real way. Yeah. You know, sometimes like when you're gifted or like when you have like a gift, like it, to you, it's natural to you. It's like breathing. It takes somebody else to be like, you know, you know, that's a gift right there. And I know like for you, it's natural to just dress fly. <laughs> but like, bro, <laughs> it, that's a gift right there. Like I can look in my closet and I know what the freak I'm wearing. OK, facts. But it's so, tough. OK. No, I mean, uh, okay. no, no, you know, I mean, like, girl, look at me. Just, I'm chill. <laughs> summertime is coming. Quincy, you clearly have hella gems. Like we're listening intently because you're dropping a lot of knowledge. But help us out. Some style, bro. Like summer is coming. What is something we need to be doing or looking out for? Or like, what's that trend? Give it to us, please. We need the help. Help. <laughs> I, I'm gonna just leave it simple. Okay. Ooh. The trend is Fifty Shades of Purple. Ooh. I love okay. This, man. So you I love we this just kind of so we gotta do. In. Wear purple all summer. Whichever shade mm. speak to you, mix and match. Ooh. But. N- 50 shades of gray is out the window. Out the window. Magenta. Out. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, purple. Yeah. Lavender. Okay. Lilac. Lilac. Yeah. Purple. Lilac. Lilac, Lilac. Lilac sounds Lilac. fly as fuck. Yeah. Lilac. That's the answer is purple. <laughs> that, everybody say that. Lilac. 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 That's like what? It feels good. How that color got that name? <laughs> That's hard. That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> like who's in charge of naming colors, right. bro? I like. You know what I thought when Letty asked you like, "What's the trend this summer?" I thought yeah. you're gonna be like getting people pregnant. That's wow. the trend. Well, I mean, Face Off, the single, bro. Like you, uh. you hit a different wave. Uh. Like Face Off, Lights Out, trying to find out what you mean to me. Ooh. Yeah, and then like Face Off, like what do you mean Face Off? Like we're about to face off. Is it like Face Off? Like remove that well, from that to mask. Mm, yeah, Face Off, right? Girl. Like, like yeah. <laughs> why is Face Off called Face Off? It's always multi-dimensional. There it's we it's go. never one side. Fucking nice. Gemini. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's how I, it's how I like operate. It's like my little engine. It's my chip. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the face-off is really stripping the vulnerability, you know, stripping everything away, showing mm. that vulnerability, you know. Mm. And sometimes when people have that mask on, that... Came, yeah. You ain't you all the Come way. On. Yeah. There you go. You know, like and, you know, really what that means is like, you know, even like boxing. You're putting it all in the line. You know, you're... Oh, yeah. You're actually... Facing off. Exactly. You're actually facing off. And like I said, you're putting all of you into that. I don't think nobody goes into a fight like, I'm going to fight less this time. You know what I mean? Like, so I feel like that versus, you know, even though everybody kind of like feels like things are a competition. It is. Mm. But face off is one of those competitions where it's like, all right, this is a versus on who can be themselves the most. Mm. You know what I mean? let's, let's play that game. Yeah. I don't think people play that game. Cause you know how you can just tell when somebody not being themselves. Mm. Don't it irk you? Yeah, yeah. definitely irks me. Especially when you're giving a lot. It yeah. it irked me more than anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I'm sure people was irked by me because I wasn't able to fully be myself sometimes too. Sometimes I, you know, maybe tried to go in a room and felt like I had to like, you know, damn, I, I, I don't know shit about this, but let me put it on. Let yeah. me let, let me at least know something so I can like chime in when I hear something I can. You know, relate to, right. you know, stuff like that. But, yeah. Man, yeah. so Teddy brought it back to Q-Day and then the two doors. I'm curious to know, 
you, you I can see the the big astrology influence on you. Talk about being a Gemini, the two doors, how that connects to that. You also talk about being born into um, hip hop and being born to R and B. So mm -hmm. duality is all across the um, album. With the climate of music being exactly that, hip hop, R and B genre, uh, blending the genres and everything like that. Where do you think that you fit in into all of that? Is it just now I'm focused on the R and B thing, or like I can't help it? You know. Hip hop is who I am, like you said. So of course, there's going to be those elements uh, mixed in with that. I definitely think you know I am you know reeking R and B. Come on now, uh, for sure. <laughs> um, but like I said, the hip hop is such an influence. I yeah. feel like with that infusion, that's just what new R and B is. Mm. Um, because me and my team, sometimes we sit around, we listen to songs of mine, and be like, "What genre is this?" Mm. Like. You know, it, it ain't all the way R&B, but yeah. it got a little pop element, but yeah, I'm, I'm rapping. I got some yeah. bars on here, too. But then you got a saxophone in it. Mm -hmm. like, what? <laughs> so I feel like that is also, you know, what kind of creates timeless music. And I feel like, you know, I fit in where I fit in. Mm. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> you can it's, say any, just the way you, you say it, I'm like, okay, bars. Like, you've dropped the mic 5,000 times in this video alone. <laughs> But um, you know, I feel like the multi-genre-nated. Yeah. I don't know. Is that a word? Genre-nated. Oh, genre genre Come on um, now. Is the future mm. um, of timeless music? Uh, so I wish I can like sign something that's like I promise to make timeless music mm. and commit to changing the game. I mean, yeah. you're doing it right now. It's documented. But we, so we need to make an official one so we. Mm -hmm can point out some people who Ooh. we can ha ha hold responsible. Ah. Oh. With you. You know what I mean? Stop making boo-boo. Right. Like, make time this music. Right. Yeah. Put some effort into it. And then we're going to have a board of people who all can, who can vote and be like, that's boo-boo. Yeah. yeah. That's not lilac. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dog. That ain't lilac. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you think this generation cares about timeless music, or is that kind of a thing of the past? Mm. Well, see, like your previous question, that's what I was saying which should be the case uh, okay. and where I see like the new me fitting in because I feel like there's a whole generation of me and I say me like the style of right. music but also Blending too, the passion uh. and the care behind you know the art you know and the integrity of what music supposed to mean mm. you know so so you know that's just where it lies for me mm. so you care about Thomas music who cares what they care about yeah come on now Quincy, it's a blast to have you in here, legit. Like, you are Anytime. you are a great conversation. <laughs> you talk with your hands like me, too. Sometimes right. I don't oh, know yeah. what to do with my hands, but, like, legit, I need to... Oh, oh yeah, snap. I'll fight somebody right. with it. That's I'll get in trouble, hands. Quincy. I'm not you. <laughs> they will send me to the jail. Right. Imagine, yeah. I, imagine I was talking, I was just, like, fighting while I'm talking. Yeah. So what I'm basically saying is... But like, that's just, what you're doing. Right, you you find the yeah. inauthentic. Right. Right. Look. No, thank you so much for hanging out with us. The thank project is Q-Side, B-Side. Like, Face Off is a single. Go stream yeah. that. Yes. And happy belated birthday to oh, you. Yeah, we know you're you celebrating Gemini. Yeah. all Gemini season long. Of course. Summer long. That's how it has to go. And the trend <laughs> for the summer is... Fifty Shades of Purple. Fifty Shades of Purple. Oh, no. Fifty Shades of Purple. Right now. Purple is the answer. I Queen, said it. Quincy, yes, thank you for hanging out with us. It's the all new Power Mornings. We'll let the Teddy. Yep. Yeah.